Hello everyone, my name is Alex. This is an episode of a course, How to Learn Java Oop <laughs> Within 50 Days. Link to the full playlist is in the description below. In this episode specifically, we're going to talk about if statements. What an if statement is used for is to check if different values is either the same or different, greater than or less than. Uh, we can even check check the the status of, of a boolean. We're going to come to that in the next in the next episode of this course. Uh, in but but in this one again, if statements this is really really useful in case you're creating games or programs. You're always going to need if statements both for for the user's input and for the for the program program itself. Uh, a good a good example of of where if statements are used, is used. Well, it's, it's used pretty much everywhere. Just just give you the basic idea of it. Uh, if you played played the game the game Minecraft, uh, you know when you resize resize your window to a different size, the the GUI or the GUI, however you pronounce it, uh, is is getting resized as your window is getting bigger, etc. And uh, that is because it's using if statements. So basically, if the the size of the window is this, then do this. Otherwise, do this and that. Blah blah blah. So before before we create an if stem if statement, we would like something to test with. So we're gonna create create uh, an integer called pencil. Not <laughs> if I can spell that correctly. Uh, in pencil, and we're gonna set that equal to 64. So we are a factory who is pr producing pencils, and uh, our goal for this year is to to create 100 pencils. Now I got two different integers here, and what we can do for those of you who, who don't know this, we can actually drag this up one row and just do it like that, separate them with a comma, and they are now defined pencil and pencil goal. Now, when we check things, we just type in if, and um, then we do brackets, and inside those brackets, we do the testing. So we want to test. First of all, we just want to try this out and see see that everything works. Right? It's gonna work, but <laughs> I mean, uh, pencil. So we we want to say in case. So if the pencil is equal to, and then you type in two equal to signs or two 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 equal signs here uh, that's equal that's uh, the operator for for equal in, in Java equals in Java and many other programming languages as well I know that uh, equals to pencil not pen soil pencil go well then we would like to do a a curly bracket Ah, curly bracket. No idea what what they're called. I think they're it's curly bracket, isn't it? Uh, and this would be pencil here. What's going to happen then is that basically it's saying if the pencil, which is 64, has the same amount as the pencil goal here, which doesn't clearly doesn't, then it will go and do whatever's inside those curly brackets here, these two, uh, and 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 then. Then it will just do this. So, for example, system out print print line. We have we we have the exact right amount of pencils. I was just thinking what to type. Uh, a little smiley there with a the nose. <laughs> so when we run this, what's going to happen is nothing. Because what it does is, is when it sees, no, this is not true. This is the pencil is not equal to to the pencil goal. That's that's not gonna work. It's just gonna skip this part here. It's gonna skip uh, the code that's inside those curly brackets here. Uh, that's wrapped in in there. But if the pencil would be a hundred, what it would do is that it would type what whatever is in here, and we could actually write even more code in here we could write whatever we could do more if statements inside this statement this print statement uh, or this if, sta if statement uh, like blah 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 
and uh, it would say blah ha ha la la la. <laughs> and uh, so if we, we just change change this back to 64 here, and we do something else here because if this is not true, we maybe want to do some more checks to tell the user that ah all right you're you're getting closer. So we could type an else here with another curly bracket here, with another clause here, and we could type in system out of print ln, print line. Um, nope, we still, we do not have enough pen, pencils for this year. I must have done something to my keyboard because I really can't type. Give me a second. Nope. Seems fine. So when I run this now, nope, we don't. We do not have enough pencils for this year, and that's true. We don't. But if what happened if I would change this to 120? Well, then it would still give us. Nope, we do. We do not have enough enough pencils for this year, and that is because it's checking if this pencil is equal to the pencil goal, which it isn't. It's above that. So there is something we can do. We we want to check if in case the pencil is is greater than than a pe penis goal shit <laughs> the pencil goal i mean i meant the pencil goal i i really meant the pencil goal uh so we want to check if the pencil is greater than the pencil goal and the way we do this is that we type greater than and it's you know the old greater than sign from school all that good stuff um this sign here no that's that's the c <laughs> um or a set, um, but now we're checking. Now we're basically saying, in case the pencil is greater than pencil go, it will say we have the exact right amount of pencils. And the reason to, that I said exact is that we had exact. We have the right amount of pencils. Uh, but now the pencil goal is a hundred, and this is gonna be correct in case it's a hundred and one and upward, because it's only checking if the pencil is greater than the pencil goal so it, it can't be a hundred it has to be greater than a hundred so if I would do a hundred here nope we do not have enough pencils for this year uh, so what we can do to fix that is that we can type is greater than or equal to so we can type in a little equal sign after this sign here, this greater than sign, we can run it, and it will actually say we have the right amount uh, amount of pencils, uh, and we can of course do this with less than as well. So we could do like in case it's less than, uh, nope, we do not have the right amount of of pencils for this year. Uh, so in case this would be less than a hundred, maybe uh, maybe a hundred, <laughs> no, maybe a ten, like uh, we would get we have the right amount of pencils. That's gonna work just fine, uh, and of course we can add. An equal sign there as well. We have the right amount of pencils, but that allows us to do, uh, type in a hundred like that. Now there is one more thing to do, to this because we maybe we want to check multiple things like pencil equals pencil go. That's that's right. That's right. Uh, because the, if pencil is equal to pencil go, we have the uh, we have the exact right amount for this year. Dot dot dot. And then, nope, we do not have enough pencils for this year. Uh, now we're back at this again, so um, 100 is going to be correct, but 101, nope, we do not have enough pencils for this year. Uh, the way we could fix this is that we can can just put this a bit further down here, we can type, type in here, else if, another curly bracket, and of course in the start of this one, do another curly bracket like that. Uh, I must have done something wrong, I'm pretty sure, haven't I? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> yeah, um, and, and this else if works like an if statement, but there is an else as well, so this is for the same if statement here, and we can just build it on like this. So if, so if this is not true and it's either either greater than or less than the pencil, 
we can move on to this one and we can check if the pencil is greater than the pencil goal then what's going to happen is that system out of print line we have too many pencils someone is calling me <laughs> shit <laughs> but we have too many pencils which you don't really have but I think that's that's cool and uh, then else so it, if it's less than that's the only alternative left we have too many pencils it will say now because we have 101 and uh, of course we can also type in numbers here we can do like 32 or maybe we can type it out by hand but it's really really smart just having having variables for everything in if statements uh, unless you you're like me when you're lazy sometimes and you just just somewhere in the code you don't really know where you are in the code and it's a really really long code you just don't know what's going on then sometimes I do agree on that I do these kind of weird checks uh, but that's it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed uh, thanks for watch for, thanks for watching uh, rate, comment, favorize, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time.